Hey guys, welcome back to Designs by Donnie. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly sand a tabletop and get it ready for a fine finish. You ready? Let's go. This video is made possible by my sponsor, Merca USA. Before we begin getting this tabletop ready for finish work, we have to remove it from the pipe clamps and check the wood for any abnormalities, highs and lows between each plank. Occasionally in the glue up stage, you will get a couple of planks that might be just a smidge higher than the rest. And when I say a smidge, it could be a 16th or it could be as little as a 32nd. But either way, the easiest way to attack this is just to grab a hand plane or a block plane and just go ahead and smooth it out. Using Abernet abrasives, I'm going to start with 80 grit, work my way up to 100, 120, 180, and end with 220. This way, it'll have a nice gradual stage, the sanding process will be nice and easy, and the tabletop will be perfect. Begin with a carpenter's crayon. Cover the entire surface, leaving pencil marks everywhere. This will ensure that you don't miss a spot in the sanding process. You're also going to do this between each grit. We're starting with 80, so once we remove all these pencil marks, we will cover it in pencil marks again, and then step up to 100 grit, and keep doing that through the entire process. Let's go over a couple of tips while we're starting this sanding process. Tip number one, do not tip the sander. Don't put it on its edge. Doing so will ensure divots in the top. You want to keep it nice and flat with equal pressure over the center of this. Just let the sander do the work and it'll come out perfect. After applying the 80 and the 100 grit sandpaper, I then put a 48 inch T-square on the tabletop. I make a couple of reference marks for where I want to cut it, and then I remove the ends. This way the tabletop will be nice and square, and I always do this after I go through a couple of the sanding stages. But clamp down a straight edge, grab your circular saw, and just rip off the ends. Easy peasy. I like to round off my tabletops. You can use anything as a gauge for this. You could use a compass, or you could just use a traditional roll of tape. It's a perfect circle. Just make your reference marks. They'll be equal every time. Grab a jigsaw, cut it, and then take your Darrow sander and smooth it out. Corners are removed. Look at it. It's perfect. I love this. This rings quality to me and good craftsmanship. But after that step, let's just grab a handheld router, put a quarter inch round over bit on it, and let's go around the entire perimeter of the top, top and bottom. This will leave a nice subtle edge and it will ring high quality. Congratulations, you've made it to the last step, which is 220. You're going to go over the entire top, the sides, and the edges and make this tabletop nice and smooth to touch, and it'll be ready for that finish work. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed this process and this video, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.